sitting on the bench, you're going to notice something a little bit different. And the reason is I'm tying a very small pattern. Whenever I tie small patterns now, with my age, I have to use the glasses. So something a little different on the bench today. The fly we're going to tie is called Little T. It actually imitates a termite, and it's a very effective pattern when fishing these small, small flies. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a size 16 TMC 2312. We'll tie with some ADOT like Cahill thread. We'll use a 332nd silver tungsten bead, some dark olive seal dub for the body, some light olive seal dub for the thorax, and some green crystal flash for the rib. First step to the fly is take your light Cahill thread and tie it onto the hook. As we do in all our flies, create a, a really good base layer. And as you notice too on the hook, I've already put my bead on the front. So the bead's already on the hook. Take one strand of your green crystal flash and tie it in right at the rear of the hook. We'll use this to rib the body after we tie it in. Take some of your dark olive seal fur and dub it onto your thread. And again, you can form a dubbing loop or single, single line dubbing, whatever way you can get it on there to form it, to get the dubbing on the line or on the thread. Keep it fairly thin and then wrap forward halfway up the hook to form the rear end of the fly. Before you actually rib the fly, trim off a little bit of this seal fur. I pulled it out. I'm just going to trim it down. We want it to be bushy but with not too many hairs hanging too far out. So just trim it close to the body before we actually wrap in our, our dubbing or before we wrap in our rib. Now take our rib and we're going to take about four or five wraps through the body just to give it a little extra flash. Take some light olive dubbing and again dub it on your thread and we're going to wrap this forward right to the bead to form the thorax on the fly. And again, three or four wraps, keep it fairly thin, right to the back of the bead. To finish the fly off, we're going to whip finish right behind the bead, a few wraps, and cut off our thread. As I said earlier, some a little different. You get older, you get blinder. But seriously, this fly, Little T, it's a great pattern wherever there's small food items present. Give it a try. I know you're going to like it.